The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost, Part 1. Formalism, Formalist Approach. English 10, Week 5 of Third Quarter. Formalism, formalist approach, refers to critical approaches that analyze, interpret, or evaluate the inherent features of a text. These features include not only grammar and syntax but also literary devices such as meter and figures of speech. Literary devices, are tools used by writers to hint at larger themes, ideas, and meaning in a story or piece of writing. Some of them are as follows. Simile, indirect comparison, two unrelated objects are being compared to each other with the use of the words, like, or, as. Example, you are as brave as a lion. Metaphor, direct comparison, a statement in which two objects, often unrelated, are compared to each other. Example, this tree is the god of the forest. imagery. It engages the senses to deepen the reader's comprehension of what is happening and how to feel about it. Example, sight imagery. The tree spread its gigantic, sun-flecked shoulders. Sound imagery. The forest was hushed, resounding with echoes of the tree's stoic silence. Touch imagery. The tree felt smooth as sandstone. Taste imagery. The tree's leaves tasted bitter, like unroasted coffee beans. Smell imagery, the sweet aroma of the freshly baked chocolate chip cookies wafted from the kitchen to the living room. Four, symbolism, uses symbols which can be words, people, marks, locations, or abstract ideas to represent something beyond the literal meaning. Example, rainbow symbolizes hope and promise red rose symbolizes love and romance four leaf clover symbolizes good luck or fortune wedding ring symbolizes commitment and matrimony. Personification, giving human attributes to non-human objects. Example, the car needs a cold shower. Sound devices, are special tools the poet can use to create certain effects in the poem to convey and reinforce meaning through sound. Some of them are Let's go 1. Rhyme is the matching vowel sounds at the end of words or lines 
Example, out of the night that covers me black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. Repetition is the repeating of any words, phrases, sentences or lines within a poem. Example, to the swinging and the ringing of the bells, bells, bells of the bells, 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 bells to the rhyming and the chiming of the bells. Assonance is repetition of vowel sounds within words. Example, I like to decline an offer of wine to define my style. Four, alliteration is the repetition of the consonant sounds at the beginning of words. Example, the shepherd shook his head in negation. Onomatopoeia uses words which imitate the natural sounds of things. X. The sack fell into the river with a splash. Make studying fun, read and carefully analyze the poem before doing the different learning tasks. Not Taken, by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing there, had warned them really about the same. both that morning equally lay. In leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. It's important to take a break. Studying at your own pace means giving yourself time to breathe in between lessons. Step away from your laptop, rest your eyes, and be kind to yourself by taking breaks. Remember to exercise kindness with yourself and those around you. Treat yourself and your classmates with compassion and respect. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.